Hi, this is Jason at Harrelson Trumpets, Denver. Uh, I'm in the showroom, and you can see behind me a few of our horns. Uh, today I want to discuss some experiments I've been doing the last week on new materials for the 5mm body, and I want to give you a little uh, history on that. So I came up with the 5mm idea um, maybe 10 years ago or something, and I've been working on it for about five years. Uh, as you know, last year it was launched in January, and in, in the last uh, 12 or 13 months, uh, we've had something like 600 orders and reorders of 5mm and the components. Um, so it has been very limited for the first year because we've been building all the files and all the, the processes to make the 5mm. But the really cool part is we're finally to the point where uh, we're in our fourth production run of each component. And on the last production run of bodies, uh, at the last few days, I spent just um, experimenting with different materials. And what I've wanted to create for many years is the Ebony series trumpets and mouthpieces that I had introduced maybe in 2004, around that time. And for those of you who haven't seen them, they were mixed metal and wood, and the wood was stabilized, meaning that it had been impregnated with resins um, using a special process. And now we are doing that process here at Harrelson Trumpets, so we can produce those materials ourselves. And I'm also experimenting with other uh, options, including resins. So we've got stabilized woods, woods, resins. Those are the things that we're working on right now. And I have three to show you today. I will put these up for sale today, first come, first serve. I only have one of each. Um, probably by next week, I will have around 15 to 20 different variations of these bodies available. That's all I have. So until I set up to make mouthpiece bodies again, you're not going to see them again. So you don't want to see me, you want to see this. And this is stabilized maple. So uh, this looks like a quilted pattern, meaning that it almost looks like quilted in the wood grain. Uh, hopefully that comes through and you can see that. It has a rim on it. It has the cup and the throat inside the back bore and the nut, and uh, all of these do come apart, just like any other 5mm body. Uh, we will be selling this body, but the body only, we're not selling the whole mouthpiece. So um, I've got to get that nut back on. So if you decide you want to buy one of our bodies, um, then if it's one of these special materials, you have to buy the body separate from the mouthpiece. Uh, there are a couple reasons for that. One is it's a little bit of a nightmare <laughs> to try to price out every variation of these in a mouthpiece kit and fit it on our website. The other reason is, if you have a brass body, it's going to be more efficient than a wood body, and we want you to experience the highest efficiency. So if you don't have a 5mm kit, buy that first, and then buy one of these bodies afterward. Alright, um, I'm going to pull it apart quickly so you can see inside. That's inside the body. And of course, it's just the net shape of this. This one, because it's stabilized wood, you should have no problem uh, if you take care of this, making it last for a very long time. I mean, I would venture to guess a stabilized wood could last for 40, 50 years. Um, that's a little different than regular hardwood. This is pure maple, unstabilized. And that's a pretty mouthpiece as well. But in my experiments, I learned that uh, I made some unstabilized versions, and I'm not going to make any more after this because, uh, at least out of maple, because it was very difficult to keep the threads from chipping out as they were machined. So the inside of this, where the cup is, or where the rim is, rim and cup, um, there are some chips where the threads are. The rims still thread in, but they're kind of tight, and uh, the back bore and the nut still thread in, but again, they're kind of tight. So I only have three or four of these. Uh, because they are unstabilized and they have those issues, we're going to let these go for $50 each just to let you guys have fun with them. And then maybe in a month or so, I will reintroduce them as a stabilized version, um, which is an extra step and it'll probably cost at least double that. Um, but this is a beautiful mouthpiece body and uh, that is a great addition to your 5mm. And the last uh, experiment that I want to share with you today is stabilized, but this one, I, um, I'm putting it together as I talk here. This one has, 
see if I can get it all together. This one has three different colors of wood. So I glued up three different pieces and I did that so that uh, I could just use the remnants and those remnants would have just been scrap if I hadn't done it this way. So let me screw it all back together. There it is. That one is green, blue, and natural. So this mouthpiece is all maple and it's uh, really probably the all all came from the same tree but this was dyed and stabilized green that was dyed blue and stabilized and this was not dyed and it was stabilized and then I pieced three pieces together glued them up and uh, after they set I cut it on the CNC and just like the other mouthpieces um, this body is now one solid piece that is exactly the same dimensions as one of our brass bodies. Um, so you're probably wondering what they sound like. I don't know what parts I screwed into here, um, but I'll just play on the green one and we'll put it in a horn. It's a nice fit. This is a, a three quarter inch body with a nut that tapers down to five eighths. warm tone. Sounds great in this room. And uh, that's a great way to add a little flair to your horn. This one is in green. And what, one thing I didn't mention is these two are a new style, a new body style that we're introducing uh, this week on our website. And this style, having two curves, was produced using a new piece of software that we didn't have before. And it allows us to make curves uh, that are just more organic um, you could do that on any lathe, but using software to do it makes it way easier. Um, and we have this available in the 5 8 version, which is this, and the 3 quarter version. You can see the difference. And these are H, body H, and body I. And they are uh, originally the, the mimicking A and E, so it's just a different version of A and E. Um, and then this body style was style E. So you can see it's almost the same dimensions from end to end, but we just put some curves in there. All right, uh, that's all I have for today. We're gonna put these up on Spreezy, so you will see them on Instagram and on Facebook, and you can click on the link, right, Jen, and then just purchase it that way. They're not gonna go on our website. Um, be they, they will go up on the website, but not these three, because they'll be on Spreezy. So you have to get them there, or give us a call. All right, thanks, and I'll see you next time.